Well, I'm on the road. Um, it's a bad time to be working um, out of Lethbridge. Uh, I'm glad that I'm working, but like, this is an hour commute. This is as far as I go for subbing. I don't do it often. I've only been here twice, and it's only been for a morning. And then I've gone to another town closer to Lethbridge for the afternoon. Uh, there's just a teacher that that has that in her schedule. Uh, but today I'm doing a full day at the school, and like gas has jumped up a dime a day for the past three days, and we're at 173.9 when I left this morning. So it's really not a good day to be uh, on the highway when I could just be in Lethbridge. Um, and there were jobs in Lethbridge I, I could have taken that I got calls for this morning, but last night I didn't have anything booked. So this teacher got a hold of me and, and I committed to it, so I'm gonna go out there. Um, yeah, that's not super fun. And especially because I gotta go out on the highway again tonight to work for English uh, class. So yeah, that's not super fun financially speaking but that's what I gotta do um, one of the reasons that I felt better about doing that today is because I don't have a lot of experience at the school and just kind of being seen like I don't want to make a regular habit out of coming out here because I lose money by doing that even when gas was not as crazy as it is right now I lose money by coming out here when I could work. If I could work within, well, anytime I'm leaving Lethbridge, I'm spending more money on gas and I'm not getting any compensation for that. So it's, it's tough, uh, but especially this far away. Like I don't want to make a habit of coming out here, but that could lead to future job opportunities potentially. I don't know, right? Like I don't know what's going to happen. Um, just how they feel about my subbing or just like seeing a familiar face making connections who you know all that stuff right i don't know how that's gonna go and i need to to make those connections because i have those connections at other schools but i don't have that connection here yet so that's another push as to why why i, I chose to come out today but it's yeah financially not a very sound choice um two extra hours of highway commute today to do it not not great when gas is that high or ever uh, i gotta give a shout out to my man jeff for giving me this uh, raw honey um <clears throat> i was gonna have this uh save this conversation for the studio but i thought i would show you the raw honey that i got um because uh of a painting i sold um he was very generous and, and also gave me that as well as the, the funds for the painting. It was a painting of bee boxes and he happens to be a beekeeper. Oh goodness, Ren, settle down. I'm gonna let this dog out. Uh, so anyway, <clears throat> I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, yeah. So this gentleman who doesn't even have Facebook but somehow got to see my painting that was on Facebook Marketplace um, of these bee boxes, but it's a little abstracted. I will try to remember to put that picture up here of this painting. Um, yeah, he was into it, he wanted it, um, and then within 24 hours, uh, made the exchange and he gave me some raw honey. That was a painting that I had different plans for. I love bee boxes. I like taking pictures of bee boxes. I just think that they're just these beautiful objects that are just like pastel colors, bright colors, dark colors, whatever. There's all these different colors and they're in this like uniform like pattern kind of like straight line, they're boxes, right? And I really like looking at them on the landscape. Um, they're just very interesting to me and I'm, that was my first attempt at trying to paint them and it just didn't really work out. I think a lot of it had to do with the background, a little bit of the boxes themselves and it just didn't really work out as a painting and I, I kind of did something to resolve the painting balance-wise, just visually balancing it and resolving it as a painting because there were things and elements I didn't like of my more straightforward approach of painting. It just didn't work. So again, you'll see what I mean if I remember to post it here up in, in, the, in the vlog here. But the other thing was that 
So that painting, I put that ad up a couple days ago. But this morning, I posted Salamander Man. This is a painting that I'm just like, no one's going to buy this thing. I don't. I think there's very few people in the know of who Salamander Man is and knows the reference and all that stuff. And I just, I have to price it accordingly. Um, I chose my materials purposely to put it on thinner canvas and stuff that I had lying around rather than like a deep profile gallery wrapped canvas because that would inflate the price. And it was just one of those things where I'm like, the people that are in the know, I don't know if they're going to spend money on, on this painting because it's not just, it's funny, this thing about fine art, like the theme or subject alone almost puts it out of that fine art category despite how it is approached uh, with skill and, and whatever else, like, and style. So I had three or four offers on that within the first hour that it was up. Um, so that made me happy. And it, it just made me feel good of just like, just do what you want to do. Paint what you want to paint. If you have faith in your painting, then maybe it won't sell in an hour like this one did. Maybe it will take, um, maybe it will take uh, a couple months or a couple years, like with the bee boxes. But I didn't paint over it. I didn't lower it an incredible amount, like price-wise, and I just like feel really good that I can paint what I want to paint, and maybe eventually it will be seen as it'll be appreciated and sold and purchased and whatever. And I don't know, it just made me feel really good because I don't want to go out of my way to paint things that this will be saleable. Um, but I want the stuff that I make to be relatable and for people to feel like it is valuable enough to to purchase. And that was a nice affirmation today. Realize I haven't really done much vlogging this week. Been pretty busy, and uh, that's a good thing. But yeah, I gotta cap it off here. So, other videos this week were uh, three different reviews: uh, the picture of Dorian Gray, Revolutionary Road, and Note to Self. Uh, and then I had a conversation about Love Is Blind, which was sparked from the reality TV show that I that I have been watching, so that's there as well. Um, I think that part of me has to just get used to the fact that these vlogs just might be shorter and shorter, and that I need to cut the fat and make them even shorter, because there is a tendency sometimes, I'm like, oh, it's not long enough, I'll leave more in, and that's dumb, because quality should be over quantity. However, these aren't like action-based vlogs anyway. It is a lot of talking, but I do like to have a good balance of both, but sometimes in a week, there's just the talking bit. But anyway... See you another time.